from the Roger Paul channel or Roger Paul in our skies today. <laughs> Long time no hear from folks. Uh, sorry, I ain't been doing videos. I ain't felt like it. Been so depressed, it's unreal. Uh, I kind of lost my way there for a little while. Uh, just, you know, everything going on. And uh, I just, I lost hope. You know? I didn't lose my faith, I just lost hope. Became heartbroken. You know, and inside I just, I became destroyed. So, it's one thing we shouldn't let ourselves get like that. So, but anyway, uh, I'm breaking out of it, and we, uh, we all should, you know, remain good no matter what, which is what I did. You know, I remained good. I was angry, but I remained good through it all. But, uh, anyway, folks, let's get on with this. Never update. Well, Plan X never update today. We're looking south. As you can see, Skippy has been here. They, um, yesterday, the chemtrails was extremely bad. There's the south. There's the southwest. As you can look, right in here, look at that. Notice the curvature right there. And right there's where I've seen the, uh, <laughs> it wasn't a red glow. It was an actual object. It was right there. Um, had a smaller black one in front of it. It lasted about 15, 20 minutes and it was gone. But that was a few years ago. As you can see, Skippy's busy. There's one Kim Trail going that way, going that way. And then another one is being laid down right now as we speak. See there? Yep, old Skippy's busy. Let's darken this up a little bit. There we go. Now we can see better. Yeah. <laughs> Another chemtrail here. I didn't see that until I darkened the screen. Look at that. It's all... Look at this here. See that? Look at this. Now this here goes down here in the southwest. Goes all the way over to the north. Isn't that something? Look at that. And that's the only thing here that's connecting it, see? Right there, behind them trees. Right in here. Right where I, right in the vicinity, right in the area where I said I seen that big object. You notice that? As you can tell, uh, I'm looking at the east just now, and uh, the east is cleared up. The red is gone. See there? There's a little bit still there. You can see the redness back in there, back in the east. So, uh, anyway, folks, you know, while I took my time away, look at, look how it's wispy right there, how it goes like that, it whips. Uh, I have realized that I had to do some soul searching. I literally lost myself. Looks like something big back in here, don't it? something right here you know because that's starting right here right there looks like something rounded it's like a stripe there yeah. i mean we got asteroids all up through there and uh they're close big asteroids i mean interrupt causing interference with our atmosphere even big big asteroids but anyway i lost myself and uh Every day I felt guilty because of the way I was thinking, you know, because you know, I'm supposed to be Christian, and here I am, just, my hope is gone, you know, I'm heartbroken, you know, and I just took it day by day, you know, I didn't go out drugging, I didn't start drinking again, and, and I took it day by day, and eventually... I knew I had to do some soul searching. So that's what I did. I soul searched and found myself again. 
that looks very weird see the green right there it's like blue here there's some red and right there's like some teal green so i would say there's something right in there so uh i mean i can relate to a lot of yuns out there who's having it extremely rough because these are rough times these times are very rough you know, no A. I mean, I believe these are the last days before rapture. You know, we're, we're in pre-rapture days. You know, and these days are not going to be easy. They're going to get rougher. We got to be strong. You know, it took me to get like I was. It took me uh, 11 years to get like that. You know what I mean? So, this ain't something that just happened for me to get like that it took 11 years you know so we all have our breaking points you know and uh people still bringing up that i lied about my mom and dad dying last year you know that didn't make me angry that truly hurt it still does you know, because I can show paperwork. I can show receipts where we, you know, paid for the funerals. But if I showed it, you know, the same people that saying I lied about it were saying I'm faking the paperwork. So, there's no way to prove it. You know, I mean... Now, I would let people give names and let them check them up. But then, you know what they'll say? That I'm not even related to them. You know, anything to bash somebody. You know what I mean? which is wrong you know because a lot of people i mean hey it tore me down you know because i put up 10 years with putting up with bull crap and then this happened you know and it's been going on dang near a year so that's 11 years so if it took me down you know we all have our breaking points you know what I'm trying to say is, no matter what, just be good. You know, don't let people make you sour. You know, I got angry for a while. And, you know, uh, I had to find a way to deal with it. And I, don't, I found that only, only through Scripture. Through Scripture is the only way I found my way back. So... You know, I mean, I can relate to what y'all going through. And it's wrong to put somebody through hell like that. You know what I mean? It truly is. I often thought about suicide. You know? Because when you hurt somebody emotionally, it's not like physical pain. Emotional pain is much worse than any physical pain. You know, I mean, I broke my back. You know, I broke my leg in half with the bone hanging out in five places before. You know, but this emotional pain was much worse than any physical pain I've ever felt. It's definitely worse than a toothache. <laughs> I mean, I know some of you know what a toothache really is. Them babies hurt. You know, but anyway... uh. Yeah, I'll admit it. There's days that I just wanted to lay in bed all day and hopefully just die. You know, I, I was praying to die. And, you know, if it gets me like that, what I'm saying, folks, is stop pushing people. You're going to make them, you're going to make some people literally commit suicide. And then when they do, their blood is on your hands. I know mine almost. Mine came close. Of being on you know, some of you, you know. One that was, you know, saying the crap. It was almost on your hands. You know, and... But that's a shame that people has to feel that way in order to get away from all the bull crap. You know, I mean... I don't know what kind of people that some of you deal with out there, but not all of us are the same. Some of us, we speak truth. 
you know, and we are true people. We're genuine. You know, we don't go out causing trouble. I mean, heck, my family and me, we're quiet people. Heck, ask any neighbor we got. We are very quiet people. We don't get in no one's, you know, situations. If they need help, we'll help them any way we can. You know, but we don't cause trouble. We are not trouble. And, you know, and, you know, I mean, I always speak truth. To be honest, I'm afraid to lie. I kid you not. I am afraid to lie. Why? Because I had some spiritual happenings back in 2010, when then to 2011, that scared the daylights out of me. It literally scared the hell out of me. I was a bad person. I was full of um, darkness. My heart was black. I hated everybody. That's why I say it scared the hell out of me. I had hell within me. It scared the hell out of me. And uh, after putting up with that, I am afraid to lie because I'm afraid that thing, them things will come back after me again. And I don't want to have to deal with that. That's why I don't lie. I'm scared to death to lie. Okay, anyway, uh, notice here how it comes down like this and then you got it's rounded right there. See that? It's like this. Here's a head, like the head of something. And you can see curvature here going down all the way this way. See it? And then you got all that right there. Like it's a comet or something. Or a big asteroid. See what I'm saying? Look at that. Look at this. Here, let me lighten the screen up a little bit. See what I'm saying? Look at that. Which is kind of what I seen right here. It was a two-tailed, big, big, huge two-tailed, fiery-looking object. Some of you have seen the video. In fact, if you go into past videos of either this channel, Roger Paul channel, which I'm changing the name, it's going to be Planet Whatever. <laughs> In other words, what we see is whatever planet you want it to be, I guess. You know, we all have different names for it. So far, most everything is, to me, it's theoret theoretically. It's not, not, none of us has been able to, you know, um, actually point the actual object out. It's been interference and conditioning. Um, but over there, I did see a huge red object. Um, and it did have a smaller black object in front of it. And that is the only reason I believe what I believe in. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't do videos at all. And I wouldn't be showing nothing. I wouldn't be talking about this. But I know what I've seen. Look at that. Wow. Look at the green right there, too. So, but, uh, ooh, looky here. That looks weird here. But anyway, folks, uh. I love you all. Uh, put Jesus first. Make him part of your life. Stop doing the bad things. Let him in. Every beat of your heart is Jesus knocking for you to answer. So, you know, let him in. It's time. You know, if I hadn't have got all heartbroken, in other words, if I had have been, if my heart would have been right, whatever people said, it would have bothered me, but it wouldn't hurt me like it did. You know, I think sometimes my problem is I care too much. You know, and, but, that's the problem these days. A lot of people just don't care. Some of us care too much. Some of us don't care enough. But uh, anyway, folks, we're going into the 15-minute mark, so I'm going to go ahead and jump out of here. Uh, and I love you all. Thank you all for watching. Roger Paul, remember, I'm going to change my channel name, the Roger Paul channel. Not Our Skies and Today, but the Roger Paul channel. I'm sorry. Um, our Skies Today and uh, uh, Roger Paul and Our Skies Today has been changed, but... I'm really thinking about giving the channel to Russ and let him take it over. 
and just go ahead and start using this one. You know, this is my, uh, I've been using Roger Ponar Skies today as a primary channel. I built that channel um, and it's in his name anyway. So, you know, is what it is. You know, I built it, I lose it. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, I'm a little aggravated with it, but I'm not angry about it. You know, because building the channel is hard to do. So, look here. See there? But anyway, folks, like I was saying, put Jesus first, let him in your heart. You can never have sinned too much where you cannot get forgiveness. You will get forgiveness if you ask. That's all you have to do is ask. Hey, salvation is free, folks. You know, we have to deny ourselves and do away with the ways of the world. You know, but in, in, in a way, in a lot of ways, that's not hard to do. Especially these days. So, it's best just not get caught up in the world. Stay in the word of God. And wait for Jesus to come back. That's what we should do. So, but anyway, I love you all. Thank you for watching. Roger Paul.